Shaka Bar Bunny, how would that bunny y'all show all of like to get praise to you, how about shit, how shy? Double honest to the eldest possible, Brett Millstone. Salutation to the Optimist that's pushing his words, the truth is sincere. Yeah, shalom, uh, today's motivation is World War III. What is your aspect according to the scriptures on World War III? World War III is basically, uh, basically Armageddon, man. You know, uh, Armageddon goes back to the Hebrew word, Armageddon means multitude of uh, troops. You're gathering the troops, all right? So basically, the World War III finna take place, you know what I'm saying, all over the world, man, to uh, basically destroy America, man. So this is the last, uh, basically, say, the hoorah, you know what I'm saying, uh, of, of this coming, uh, you know, this coming destruction, all right? We'll go to the scripture real quick. We go to Revelation chapter 9, verse uh, 12. We say, One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more, more hereafter. So World War, III, World War I passed, World War II, now it's World War III now. All right? We say, And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the Most High, saying to the sixth angel which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river in the Euphrates. That's the third world waters in the Middle East, right? It say, and the fourth angel which loose, which were prepared for an hour of the day. And that hour of the day, man, is, is the destruction of America. And a month, and a year to slay the third part of men. And the third part of men talking about Esau, the so-called white man. And that's the reason why the world is wicked, because of the so-called white man being in rulership. You know what I'm saying? Third part of men means three-fifths, right? And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand, and I heard number up, and I heard the number of them. So that's 200 million missiles gonna get shot on America, man, from different parts of the uh, world, man, different parts of the continent, different countries, from different nations as well. So that's part of World War Three. That's that's talking about third nuclear uh, war. During the uh, war, that's that's the last, that's the basically the last, uh, the last war that's gonna take place. All right, I'm gonna go to Joel. Go to Joel, chapter three, and I'm started uh, nine. It say, proclaim ye this among Gentiles. Gentiles, that's talking about the other nations. That's too far. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. It's a Persian Gulf. Say, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I am strong. That means that when America was in full power, America can go around and take all the resources, you know what I'm saying, all the um, oil and stuff from other nations, which Lord making them strong, so actually the nation's coming up against America, all right? They say, uh, beat your plowshares into sport and the pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And send yourselves, come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together around about. Thither, cause thy mighty ones to come down almost high. So the Lord is gonna put the spirit on the other nations to go against America, man. You know? So the Lord is actually making them bold. You know? And you see it in the news. You see it all over uh, the, the social media. Let the heathen be waking and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jeho Jehoshaphat goes back to the Hebrew word Yahushapat means. Uh, it means, uh, uh, Gather the troops, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, yeah, your house pot means uh, the Lord's judgment. Basically. The Lord's judgment, yeah, yeah throw yeah, out a slot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Lord's, Lord's judgment, judgment, yeah, Yahweh. It's a pot, which means uh, judgment. Yeah, yeah con, con, the water. For there, will, the, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Sure. Put ye in the sickle for a harvest and ripe. Come get you down for the priest. 
you know what I'm The press is the yeah, the press is full, the fast overflow for the wicked is great, right? Esau, man. So the wicked is great right now because the Lord for the use the other nations. You know what I'm saying? To gather you gather all these troops together and they finna go to war. And it's finna it is finna be a hell of a war. It's finna be like the 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 the, the, the you know the best history known to man. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So yeah, uh, I'm gonna go to Joel 2 and 20. They say, but I will remove far from off you the northern army and will drive him into the land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea and his hinder part towards the uttermost sea and his stink shall come up. The utmost sea talking about the red sea, all right? They say, and his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. Right, so that 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 that, that stink talking about the foul smell after the after the war and after the um you know the fighting and the gathering of the troops, man. All right, so what's gonna happen when that when that stink, you know, what I'm saying that, that foul smell come come to pass, right? So I'm gonna go to uh, Ezekiel 39 and 11. Ezekiel 39. And 11. chapter 39 verse 11 it say and it shall come to pass in the day that I will give unto God in place that the graves in Israel the valley of the passages on the east of the sea and it shall stop the noses of the passages and there shall they bury God in his multitude and they shall call it the valley of Haman God it means the valley of graves that's what it's called. That's what it's going to call the Valley of Graves, the Valley of Multitude of Graves. Right? And seven months shall the house of Israel be buried with them, that they may cleanse the land. And all the people of the land shall bury them, and it shall be to them a known day that I shall be glorified, said the Lord. Power. Right? And they shall serve out men, continue employment passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth to cleanse them. After the end of the seven months shall they search. So they're gonna be um, decent leaks, man. They're gonna be cleaning. They're gonna be picking up foul bodies, rotten bodies and stuff like that after the war, man. It's gonna be, basically it's gonna continue in point. So the, so basically after the World War III happened, that's when all the that's all the bodies, you know what I'm saying, all the dead bodies, that's when the that's when the birds gonna feed off these bodies. Alright? So that's when the elites basically gonna clean up, you know, all the bodies, man. So I'm saying with that, I'm say call along how about you know shot, double honest to the eldest apostle of the great millstone, the salutation of Optimus pushing his word, truth is sincere. Alright, shall we? Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai, and double honors and blessings to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to you brothers teaching out there in truth and sincerity. It's a brother Yerala Ah, Bun Yahweh Bun Yasha'ala. Now today's motivation is going to be World War III. You know, what is World War III and, you know, how can he prove it in the scriptures? Well, World War III is uh, the world that's coming, coming to America between America and Russia, uh, also, they ally with China and Japan, you know. But before I get into that, I want to bring this, this article out. It's, called, uh, it's from the website Inquisitor.com. It says, World War III with Russia could start over Clinton's proposed no-fly zone in Syria, says a story. It says, tension between the United States and Russia have unleashed a flurry of World War III theories that have come to the forefront of the final weeks of the 2016 election. The question raised about America's future relationship with Russia have ranged from cyber espionage threats to continued dispute over Crimea, but perhaps no world issue has been as central to the unfolding drama as, as the war in Syria. 
As Russia backs President Bashar Hafez al-Assad, the U.S. armed Syrian rebels forces fighting against him. Both sides are ostensibly only making direct attacks on Islamic extremist groups in the area. Each nation has separately accused the other of breaking this pact, even to the point of using the phrase of world crimes reported to, to the New York. This is a, this is a, Gerald Horn, the history chair at the University of Houston, recently sat down with Russia today to discuss how he sees Hillary Clinton's proposed policies playing out in Syria, particularly in the case of a no-fly zone that says could spark the beginning of World War III. And uh, here's, here's what it says. It says, when Secretary Clinton talks about establishing a no-fly zone in Syria, she is basically saying that if she's sworn into the highest office in the land, in January 2017, she will be challenging Russian, Russian jets over Syria. This is a direct provocation that could easily de devolve into World War III. So I am very much concerned about the hawkish language coming out of, of Washington that in a very cavalier fashion is talking about confronting and challenging Moscow, a major nuclear power. Right, so what's going on basically, they, they uh, with the whole no fly zone is they they basically uh send them little attacks at each other you know to basically kick kick this whole world war three off all right the scriptures um uh, what it ultimately boiled down is that yahweh bashiyan shai is, is really kicking the third world war off for our sakes you know and this is a joel chapter three verse one it says for behold in those days and at that time when i shall bring again the captivity of judah and jerusalem I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. Right, so the valley of Jehoshaphat is, is that's when World War III is going to take place, you know. This is a... Uh, this is a... Uh, and I already hear it says, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel. That's the whole, whole purpose. You know, the most high can judge, that's it, that's him judging the nations on what they did to, to us. It says, whom they have scattered among the nations and part of my land. And they have cast lots for my people, and this is going into uh, slavery or what, 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 what was done. And they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for an harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Right? They, when we was in slavery, they sold the boys to men to the highest bidder for a drink and, uh, and also the women the young girls the young men this is uh the verse four yay and what have you to do with me O tyree and zidon talking about the the uh, the, the africans it says in all the coast of palestine will ye render me a recompense and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily will i return your recompense upon your own head right so the most high gonna bring bring what they done to us back back on them this is uh, verse 5. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, the children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, talking about the, these Edomites, that ye might have removed them far from them borders, right? When y'all sold us from off the west coast of Africa. It says, uh, Behold, I will raise them out of, of the place where ye have sold them, talking about America. And will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah. Right. So uh, just like how we were sold, y'all, the same thing will happen to all these nations. All right. This is a. Uh, it says, and I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them to the Sabians, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty man, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Right, that's talking about the military weapons. This is, let the weak say, I am strong. And that's talking about the, the other nations that's going to that's gonna rise up against, that's rising up against America. Okay? This is, uh, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord.
says, let the heathen be wakened and come to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Right, it's right. So the Most High said that He gonna judge all the heathens uh, uh, round about in the valley of Jehoshaphat. That's talking about all the nations, you know, uh, the Edomites, the Hamites, uh, the uh, Moabites, you know, the Ishmaelites, uh, all the nations, man, all the heathens. If you're not of Israel, you getting judged today. And um, that that's pretty much it on that point. So that's pretty much it on that. So with that, I'm gonna say Shalom.